Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today we've got some uh, crack out action going on here. I had a group of dollars that came in and I decided to go through them and try to find things that uh, I really liked and thought, well, maybe these will do okay. Uh, all different things. So I've got uh, myself a seated dollar and four Morgans that uh, we went through here. That's not an O3S, by the way, that's an O3 silver dollar. The S by the dollar sign is something that I've always detested from um, from NGC. Detest is a terrible word to use here, but I did. So now it's, this one stutters, an 86SSS. So I, I really wish they would get rid of the S and just make a dollar. I find that to be awfully confusing. Of course, they've been doing it for decades, so maybe they'll think it's just, you know, too late to go back. 1886 San Francisco Mint, MS-63. This is a coin that uh, in MS-63, I'm just going to use some round numbers, you know, as maybe a, well, maybe I'll just throw gray sheet numbers around because that'll be easier. A $700 uh, gray sheet. I realize that they don't necessarily trade at gray sheet depending on the coin, but uh, we just want to go ahead and have a reference point to work from here. Uh, 86S, a little bit better date. Uh, all those San Francisco mints, once you get into the um, 83 and on, so the 70, so the 79, 80, 81, 82 are the, some of the most common Morgan dollars. And then all of a sudden you hit 83, 84, 85, 86, and you know, and the, all those S mints become much, much harder to get into. Of course, as always, one of my favorite things about about the coins and the coin collecting is, you know, some of those mintages and stuff are related death directly to the history of the area and the con economy at the time. All right, next up, I have this 1871 AU details cleaned. And so on this guy here, uh, I resubmitted him because actually I've had a number of a number of seated dollars that had a similar look to this that straight graded. So seated dollars are interesting because they don't have the same luster pattern at all that uh, Morgans do. So some of them will be lustrous, but a lot of them have almost just like a little proof-like finish to it, which this coin does. And so my thought on this was, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and try because I think it's got a good look to it overall. And, uh, you know, cleaned and not cleaned, yeah, the difference is probably at least a couple hundred bucks. Um, but overall, it's a cool looking coin. I like the date. Some of them, you know, dates are something that um, are often overlooked. That's going to be like coin collectors. We don't date a lot. But on the style and format, some of them just have a very different look than others. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. We've got this... Uh, 1902 NGC graded MS64. So of course, once you get to 64, you know you've got to be really liking the coin to be saying I'm going to try for 65, right? There's just certain things that you really have to try. Uh, you, coins that you really have to like. If you're going from a four to a five, it's you really got to like the coin a lot. And so I liked this coin a lot. Um, really big open fields to it, nice luster. You know, you've got your contact marks. It's hard. I, I really need to make sure I show the coin at a distance first as best I can because, you know, looking close sometimes is looking too close. It's like, you, you know, if you look too close at anything, it just turns into nothing here. So, but uh, really, really nice looking coin all around. Last but not least, 1903. So the O2 and O3 Phillies, uh, that O2 in 64 is like a $300 coin. A little bit tougher Philly coin. O3 not as rare uh, in 64 is 165 gray sheet. Uh, this one I, I really liked <clears throat> even more. I think this O3 is more attractive than the O2 was. You know, and a lot of the Philly mints are hard to find. It's interesting to me because I, I find these coins much, much harder to locate than they are necessarily rare price point wise. I don't know if that makes sense. 
but you know it seems to me like to find a really attractive filly mint like 02, 03, 04, it's it seems pretty hard because they're they're um, they don't come quite as attractive as some other coins. All right, so let's go back to this 86s we had at a three. So I was hoping to get an upgrade to a four. From three to four, you're talking about a jump of a thousand uh, from 700 to 1,050. And uh, winning, all right. So um, pretty excited to actually get a coin go my way. Um, I shouldn't say that because then that gets feeds into the people who think I never get coins graded properly or I whatever, or that they hate me or something. That's just silly talk. Um, but really nice coin. Um, like the blast white look. Just nice. One of the things also verbally, I always I always think of, you know, a 63 as a coin that's just kind of a common average unk. You know, and once you get to 64, you got something that's a little bit nicer eye appeal. So just if you want to think about it in verbal terms. AU cleaned. AU cleaned. Okay. Well, you know, this one, I, I get it. Like it has a certain look to it, but it's still um, really has a nice PL feel to it. Um, but you know, it, it can, you can argue that it has a washed out look to it just as much. So, you know, it's, it has kind of an interesting, um, almost stained look to it right here in this area. But I think if anything, we could call that environmental damage. Okay. Okay. The O2 in 64. O2s and 64s, 300 and 65, it's 500. So they don't have a big jump, which kind of tells you already they're not that scarce. How do I do this? Oh, I do like that. Okay. Well, all right then. Some days I feel like I know how to grade coins. So uh, yeah, O2, Philly, 200, uh, 300 to 400, big, not, not a big jump, but um, I feel better about this coin being in this holder than the other one it was in uh, because, you know, I think it's graded proper. 03 and 64, 65 plus. Yeah, this coin is stunning. I mean, really, really for just an 03. I mean, 03 fillies aren't super rare. You know, in 64, they're 165 and in 65, they're 260. Once again, those are just gray sheet numbers. Uh, I don't have a 65 plus number because I didn't look it up online. I think they list them online, but in 66, they jumped to 450. So, you know, maybe this is a $400 coin retail, something like that. But Really nice look for an 03, I think. Um, I like the, it has just a little touch of tone to it on the edges. I think touch of tones up in uh, near uh, Waukesha somewhere. Meonomy, something like that. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Leave your comments in the uh, chat box down below. Hit the like button. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can watch more videos uh, by clicking on the boxes in the corners and uh, subscribe, that's the other thing. Take care.